Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Posh Product Junkie and today I'm going to be sharing with you a video. It's a little different from what I'm used to doing, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm doing a mukbang. So if you're not sure what a mukbang is, you're free to Google it, but in a nutshell it's basically um, where someone gets on camera and they eat food and people watch now we can talk about things or you know a lot of them they like to hear the people smack I'm not a smacker and I hate people smacking but um, we're gonna get through this now I recorded one back in July and my son told me that it was not good enough because I did not show my food so I never posted that one but I'm gonna try again today and I will be featuring be lovely Smackalicious seafood sauce. Now, I don't really eat seafood like that. I mean, I eat cod and whiting. I like it fried. I do eat salmon sometimes, but I don't eat shrimp, lobster, crabs, mussels, none of that. But I thought, you know, I would do a no seafood boil using the sauce and, you know, try to see if I like it. So if you're interested in my first ever mukbang, keep watching. Okay guys, so for this no seafood boil, I have some Tyson's chicken strips, I have some red potatoes, I have asparagus, I have the spicy beef links, corn, broccoli, and here's the seafood smackalicious sauce. I threw some um, cilantro in there because I love cilantro. Of course I have water. And I have a Sprite Cranberry for backup. Okay, y'all. I think I got it set up. Okay, so top of my head is going to be cut off. But I'm trying to get everything in frame. And it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Okay, so I don't really want to use my hands. But I know a lot of people use their hands in the mukbangs. These potatoes are hot. So this is my first impression because I have not tasted it yet. And B Love said you gotta get it to the bottom. Oh shit, it's hot. Shoot, it's hot. She said you gotta get it to the bottom to get all that yummy goodness. So it has onions, garlic, a lot of different seasonings. If you want the recipe, um, all you have to do is go on YouTube and type in be love sauce and it'll pop right up so here's my first impression mm. it's really good I don't know what I was expecting but I wasn't expecting this it's really good now she her family they like to eat their stuff very spicy. I um I like spicy, but I don't want my nose running or anything. So I only added one teaspoon or no one tablespoon of the cayenne pepper and one tablespoon of the um red pepper flakes and one tablespoon of the Tabasco sauce, but it's still really spicy and it's good. I like it. I'm try it with the corn. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this without getting messy, but we gonna try. <clears throat> mm hmm. It's really good with the corn. Try with the broccoli. <clears throat> it's spicy, y'all. <laughs> mm. I got some of that cilantro. It's very good. Now the potatoes, I probably could have cooked them for not so long because 
they're very dense so they kind of are falling apart but it's still good <clears throat> very messy but good so when she eats this sauce of course she is like the seafood boil queen I mean there are others but when I think of seafood boil I think of her because she's the first person whose video I saw I know a lot of people share her videos and they kind of troll her videos because of the way she eats but I mean there's a com community out there that loves mukbangs and I mean like she said it's hard not to eat messy with this but imagine if you're eating like shrimp and lobster and all that and you're dipping in the sauce you're gonna get messy like that's common sense I'm trying to be cute with it. And it ain't really happening for me. <clears throat> Anyways. So. I always wonder why when someone's doing a move bong, they don't talk a whole lot. Because you're trying to eat. <laughs> and it's. 126 and this is the first time I ate today so I am starved I'm gonna try it with the sausage link the beef hot link I think it's called that's good it's good on everything so <clears throat> I don't eat seafood like I said it's a religious preference it's the way I grew up. So, I just never got into it. It doesn't look that appetizing to me. So, I just kind of strayed away from it. Um, me and my co-workers went to Shake and Crab. And just walking in, I didn't like the smell. But, of course, I didn't like make a big deal about it. I just ordered my potatoes and my corn with their sauce. Their shaking sauce is really good. And I took me some sauce, some, uh, <laughs> I took some beef sausage because I don't eat pork either. I was good to go. So I hope everyone has had a <clears throat> nice Christmas. New Year Day, New Year's Day is in a couple of days. I really don't have any resolutions. I just want to be a <clears throat> a better person overall. Um, whether that be diet wise, um, personality wise, just be a little nicer. Um, I am a Taurus. And we're known to be stubborn. I don't think we're stubborn. We just don't take any crap. So. Anyways. I'm going to stop being so complacent. As far as my job. You know. We spend a lot of time at work. So it should be something that we enjoy. So I'm going to do better in that department. Just try to have a better all a better overall life financially spiritually everything I'm gonna try to be more consistent at YouTube um I like YouTube I have cable but I prefer to watch YouTube I have the different people that I watch daily, like Daily Davidsons, Keisha Anderson, Gay Babe TV, Missy Lynn, Nietzsche B, um, <clears throat> Nicole No Fire, Diva Spot One on One. It's so many, I can't even name them all because I don't want to miss, I don't want to forget someone. But like, I prefer YouTube over cable TV. <clears throat> so, I'm 
So I just want to be better at doing YouTube. It can be very discouraging. Especially with the changes that they made for the um, smaller YouTubers, such as myself. But I guess it's the incentive to strive to be bigger. It's just hard being consistent. Especially when you work a full-time job. I work a full-time and a part-time. I mean, my part-time job has the flexibility. Like, if I don't want to work for two weeks, I can just block my schedule. But... I just want to be more consistent, more creative. Anyways, <laughs> I don't think I tried it with the chicken. This sauce is very good. It's a little salty for my um, preference. It doesn't have a lot of salt in it per se. It has a lot of seasonings, but it doesn't have a lot of salt. But it's a little saltier. than I would like but it definitely has a great flavor <clears throat> I guess you have to tweak it to your liking I try to remember <clears throat> not to add salt to my food just because I didn't know like I didn't know how salty the um, sauce was going to be Anyway, so, who are some of the people that you guys watch on YouTube? Um, or what are some of the shows that you watch? My favorite shows are... The Haves and the Have Nots. Green Leaf. Um, my mind has gone totally blank. I like Queen Sugar. I love Queen of the South. Um, what else do I watch? Some of my Netflix shows. Uh, Orange is the New Black, Ozark. You know, those Netflix originals. Uh, I'm not too much into shows like Blackish. But there aren't too many. I should say sitcoms that I like. I remember back in the day we used to always watch sitcoms. But most of the shows nowadays are like drama, I guess you could say. Primetime drama. I don't know. Like I said, I would rather watch YouTube as opposed to TV TV. But there are some shows, Black Ink, uh, Black Ink, the New York set, New York crew, or whatever. There are some shows that I like DVR and watch. I like um, reality TV. I love uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Married to Medicine, those types of shows. <clears throat> but I don't only watch TV, I used to read a lot. I love hood novels. <laughs> Some people try to say that hood novels isn't reading, but reading is reading. I used to could read like a, a good book. I could read a good book in a day or two if it's really good. Like a real good one. <clears throat> A day or two um but yeah I don't really know what to talk about <clears throat> like I said I hope everyone had a nice Christmas our Christmas was really quiet this year we did not do a whole lot we didn't go anywhere I had to work the day before and after, so I just wanted to stay home and enjoy my day. 
you guys like my cup it has my name on it and on the back um i ordered this from i can't remember her name i think her name is melanie or melly i'll put her etsy information or her instagram information in the description box but they happen to be on excuse me the same cruises we were on back in october and the way that um they found me was that i made a post because the ship had to make an emergency turnaround back to uh grand cayman because someone had an had a medical emergency and i made a post about it on instagram and i tagged grand cayman and i tagged carnival horizon and the husband commented that he had been asleep and he was wondering what all the commotion was because when he woke up the ship was going like extra fast and then when i went to his instagram just being nosy i realized that they were the same couple that came um they kind of walked in a little bit late i guess you could say not late but after I already got started, they walked into our, they were in our muster group. The muster group is like, um, basically like, in case, you know, there's an emergency on the ship, you know where to meet, and you know what to do, and it, it's like over, <coughs> excuse me, it's over 4,000 people on the ship, so everybody can't be in the same area, so they put on your um, sign and sale card what your muster group is and they just happened to be in our muster group they walked in and they had just gotten married that day so when i went to his wife's profile being nosy i noticed that she um creates cups um bags i guess anything you can name she she creates it so i ordered a cup because i love starbucks <laughs> And it's an authentic Starbucks cup. Has a logo, has my name, and it has my name on the back. Thought it was so cute, so I had to order it. So now we follow each other on um, Instagram. Whew. I'm getting full. I thought I was starving, but once you start eating and drinking. You're not as hungry as you thought you were. <clears throat> so did everyone get everything they wanted for Christmas? Comment down below. And tell me some of the things that you got for Christmas. What was on your... Christmas wish list. Mm. I don't know what happened to my straw. Mm. Oh, my straw done fell to the ground. I don't know how that happened. <clears throat> Y'all. Even though um, I washed my soda top off, I do not like drinking out of a can. Like, I just don't. I can't. This is my son's favorite Sprite. Sprite cranberry. It's pretty good. I think it's seasonal. Because we only happen to see it around Christmas time you know most of the cranberry flavor things are uh, <coughs> seasonal excuse me okay this is my favorite corn this is the um, green giant extra sweet niblets man it's so like you could eat this corn 
which is butter. You don't even need any salt. It's so sweet. So delicious. So going back to the new year, share with me down below some of the things that you want to do different. I don't know. I don't like to say new year resolution because within the first like month or two, you stop doing it anyway. I guess it's better to just set a goal and try to take baby steps to obtaining that goal. You know. It's better to take baby steps than to not, um, it's better to try and fail than to not try at all, right? <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> I feel like I'm just rambling. Most of all, I just wanted to make another video before the end of the year. Because like I said, we only have a couple of more days before 2018 is in the bag. <clears throat> and like I said, I do want to be more consistent and making videos next year. <sighs> Gotta start somewhere, right? I like to do mostly hauls. But. I don't know. Like, if it's a Bath and Body Works sale. Excuse me. If you don't get that video up within the first. Twenty four hours after the sale, your video will get lost in the sauce. Cause there's so many people making those same types of videos. I like to do hauls because I like to share like what I get from different stores, but those videos don't seem to do too well for me. Um I'm really into makeup like makeup hauls, but those definitely don't do that well for me. I guess because I don't show how to apply makeup, like I'm not a makeup artist. I mean, I do my own makeup, but honestly, to me, sometimes that's hit or miss. <laughs> and what is it? Like, there's so many people who so are so against people who wear makeup. Like, I, I don't understand it. Like, most people don't understand that people that are into makeup... It's like a a hobby. Like some people are into hair. Some people are into nails. Some people are into drugs. <laughs> like I, I feel like it's better to have a good addiction. Well, any addiction is wrong. But I feel like it's better to have a good addiction rather than to have like a bad addiction. And honestly, at the end of the day, like a lot of people say, um, you know, you wear makeup to, to hide your true self. No. Because those who really matter in your life, like your significant other, your children, your parents, those who really matter to you in life, they know what you look like without makeup. So, it's not that you're hiding. It's just, it's... <clears throat> it's creative like I love to come up with new eyeshadow looks anyway it's like preaching to the choir it's the same thing as having a beard what do you look like without your beard guys who wear fitteds what do you look like without your fitted you know it doesn't matter those who know you for new it doesn't matter to them what you look like without a beard or without a fitted 
same thing with makeup. Anyways. <laughs> That's a whole nother, whole nother can of worms. <clears throat> so I made this um, stuff a little bit earlier. And I noticed the asparagus got cold like really quick. Like, that's the thing that I didn't think about. We get cold quick. They got cold the quickest. Also, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have ever even heard of Be Love. Like, like how can you not? She's a lady. She has long nails. She has her makeup done. And she eats seafood. I like watching it. I like watching her channel when she has like the whole family. Her sons are hilarious. Her husband is hilarious. Like when they're all together, they are all so funny. But um, she uses her sauce for other things. She uses, like she's done um, smoked turkey legs. Um, she's done seafood, of course, that's like one of the main, main things that she does. But she also did a vegan boil, like she used mushrooms, excuse me, she used, um, vegan sausages. She forgot and she used chicken broth, um, she wasn't thinking. She said next time that she would definitely use vegetable broth, but... She put all types of onions, mushrooms, um, potatoes, corn. Like, that's the norm. <clears throat> I think she used zucchini, maybe. Like, she used a lot of different vegetables. I was thinking of trying that, but I, I don't like mushrooms like that. Like, I'll eat mushrooms in spaghetti. But... I'm not just going to eat a mushroom. So, also my friend Cheris was telling me that <clears throat> I know that they have imitation um, crab meat, but she was also telling me that her family likes imitation shrimp. I've never seen imitation shrimp before. And I know like with imitation crab meat, you do have to be careful because if you don't eat crab for whatever reason, like if it's a religious preference, those um, imitation crab meats still have like crab juices or they're still made with some part, you know, natural flavorings or whatever. But she said she didn't know if the shrimp was the same way. But it's just, I don't know. Like even if it wasn't a religious preference for me, when I see shrimp, it just doesn't look appetizing. So I'm not sure if I would even eat imitation shrimp I would probably eat it fried before I would eat it any other way like scampi or anything like that it just doesn't look good I mean that's just my preference but I know some people who absolutely love it like they love seafood and especially living in the area that I live with, <clears throat> the area that I live in, crab is like the number one seafood option. I feel like I'm chewing so hard. Like the broccoli is so crunchy. <laughs> and every time I bite down, I'm like, can they hear me? <laughs> Anyway, y'all, I think I'm about done. I got a sausage and a half left. Um, well, a sausage and a third. I got a corn on the cob, potato, chicken. I have some of everything left, but I'm like, I'm a big girl, but I really don't eat a whole lot like that. And I literally, it's after one, I, have, I haven't eaten anything all day and I'm stuffed. And it could be because of the water, but how could you not drink water with this type of sauce? It's really good. 
but probably really tastes better on seafood. I would like to try it with the um uh smoked turkey. That sounds good. I don't think I would like to eat it with fried foods because uh the base of it is butter. So I think it would be a heart attack waiting to happen if I did. <laughs> eat it with fried food but um it's definitely good with vegetables and uh baked chicken i could see myself eating it with um some type of baked fish baked cod or whiting those are only really the only two fish that i um I, I really don't like seafood because i don't like for it to taste seafoody if that makes sense. But yeah. That's it y'all. So. Thank you for joining me. For my first ever mukbang. Or mukbang. However you say it. Please subscribe to my channel. And share this video with anyone and everyone. <laughs> Let me stop. I was about to do uh, B Love's exit. But no. Please subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below and tell me some of the things that you like to eat in your seafood boil. If you eat seafood or if you don't, just like what type of combinations do you like? Let me know if you had a good Christmas and I'm wishing everyone a very, very happy and safe new year. Um, let's all, you know, toast to a um, healthy, wealthy and happy new year. And I'll see you guys in 2019. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.